Hey, this is JR St. Julian with the St. Julian Real Estate Group of EXP Realty, and welcome to my San Diego market update for January 2024 and market recap of the crazy year of 2023. Stay tuned. All right, let's get this started with a look back at what happened in the crazy year of 2023. 2023 ended up finishing strong in a sense of we saw 10.7% appreciation year over year for the year of 2023. So despite seeing the highest interest rates that we've seen in over a decade, might be multiple decades, to be honest, I don't even remember last time we saw interest rates this high. But regardless, we appreciated year over year 10.7% in San Diego County. That's amazing when you think about we have interest rates that are the highest they've been in over 20 years. Not to mention inventory was low. I'm sure you've heard a lot about the low inventory and closed sales were down 38%. Now it wasn't down 38% year over year, but for me, I got to look back to the, the most recent normal year before all the pandemic stuff. And that was 2019. In 2019, we closed 35,000 sales in San Diego County. This year, we closed 21,750 sales. So that's down 38% from a normal year. So while we had almost 40% fewer transactions, definitely a lower demand because of the higher interest rates, we still saw a fairly hefty appreciation number of 10.7% in San Diego, which means that despite everything that was going on, there was enough demand to continue to drive up the prices in this beautiful city. So that's what we saw last year in 2023. And to kind of go back a little bit further, I want you to give you a sense of what the interest rates have been doing. If we rewind back to 2021, when we started the year, we were at 2.6% average mortgage interest rate. We finished the year with an average of about 3.1%. So that was in 2021. 2022 hit, we went from 3.1%, saw a peak at just over 7%, and then pretty much finished up the year about 6.5%. Now I can also tell you in 2022, our appreciation levels were flat because we went up at the beginning of the year, then came down at the end of the year to pretty much end out the year level flat, no appreciation. So despite the fact that a 7% interest rate number caused the market not to appreciate in 2022, in 2023, an 8% appreciation number did not stop the market from appreciating. So that tells me that people have adjusted to the higher interest rates. Now that being said, since October, pretty much the end of October of last year, interest rates have started dropping. And we ended up finishing out the year around six and a half percent. And right now we're hovering right around 6.75%. So now that brings us to what's happening this year. So as I mentioned, interest rates have come down. Now we're in the 6% range. We hit low sixes. I even saw FHA and VA interest rates at 5.75 a little bit earlier this year. They've risen since then. So right now we're hovering anywhere from mid sixes to kind of 6.75. So we're right in that mid six range as far as interest rates go. But why did the interest rates fall? Because despite the fact that the interest rates peaked at 8%, we still saw 10.7% appreciation last year, but now this year, interest rates are back down around six and a half percent. And as a result, demand is ratcheting up quite quickly. Now, inventory is also slowly on the rise, but it's not on the rise like it had been. Now we did finish out the year in December with 3.1 months of inventory on the market, but that was based on December demand numbers. So as those demand numbers ratchet up, the months of inventory will be affected a little bit more quickly because we have a little bit more demand because months the inventory is measured by demand and supply and they figure out based on the demand levels at the current time, how many months before we run out of the current supply. So while supply is increasing and interest rates are falling, I think 2024 is going to bring us a year that's going to be pretty competitive. We're going to see more homes on the market. We're going to definitely see more closed sales this year. And we're definitely going to see the interest rates fall throughout the year. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because recent CPI numbers, specifically the core CPI or consumer price index, which is what the Fed pays the most attention to, it came in at 3.9%, which is fine because that's over a 12 month period. But if you just look at the last six months, that number was 2%, which is equivalent to the Fed's target. 
So for the last six months annualized over a 12 month period, we're at a 2% core CPI, which is the goal of the Fed to get to 2% core P CPI. So as a result of that report and the Fed's comments behind that at their last couple of meetings, you saw the market react favorably. And right now, as we sit here at the end of January, the market is expecting the Fed to cut rates a few times this year, if not more than a few times this year, which means that we will see interest rates start to trend down because the inflation numbers are now looking like they are in line and where we need to be. And the Fed wants to make sure we don't get ourselves into a deflationary environment. So with everyone in the marketplace expecting the Fed to cut rates, you saw the 10-year Treasury bond drop fairly quickly at the end of October to adjust to those new expectations. As a result, mortgage interest rates came down from their highest level in over 20 years back to around, it would drop down about 6%, then it popped back up to about 6.5%, which last year has proven is enough to keep the market appreciating, to keep the demand more than adequate to absorb all of the supply. And to be honest, I'm already seeing scenarios with 11 offers five offers, multiple offers, bidding homes up over their asking price, and competition is rapidly on the rise as we come out of the winter season and get into the spring season. So my predictions for 2024 is we're going to have a very aggressive and competitive spring and summer season. Prices will continue to appreciate. Interest rates will fall. What does that mean if you're thinking about selling or buying your home? If you're thinking about buying a home, I would buy it as soon as you possibly can, even with the higher interest rates of today. No that most likely in a year from now, your interest rate will be a bit lower. And the reason I'm saying that is because the earlier you buy it, the lower the price you'll be able to buy that particular home for. Because the longer you wait and the lower the interest rates get, the more competition you're going to be facing as a buyer. Now, if you're a seller, now's a good time to start looking at selling your home. There's going to be a lot of demand this year. You're going to get good money for your home. Now, if you're looking to sell and then buy something else, this is also a good time to consider that because again, you can sell, you can get a good price, you can buy, and then you can expect those rates to continue to come down and refi later once those rates get to a more attractive number. So if that's something that you're thinking about, I would love to talk to you a little bit more about your particular situation. I love to talk real estate and I'm always here to help. So again, I'm JR St. Julian with the St. Julian Real Estate Group of eXp Realty. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I definitely can use the subscribers. It's pretty pitiful how many subscribers I have. But regardless, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Take care.